YouTube, what is good? It is your boy So King, and I am back with another video with another truth music reaction video. I gotta start saying that at the beginning of the videos, you know what I'm saying? Let y'all know what kind of reaction this is gonna be, you know what I'm saying? But before I say anything else, you know, I gotta say all praises to the most high for giving me this platform to do his work, because you know that's what I'm here to do. Nothing more and nothing less. And also let me say y'all go ahead and like the video. Let's get a routine going of liking the videos and make sure y'all go ahead and hit me with a subscribe. Go ahead right now while you're taking the time to listen to me. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? Let's get this. 100 subscribers. You know what I'm saying? Let's get there. It'll be like nine subscribers away. Let's get there, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So many things I'm ready to do for this channel. I can't do it until we get to 100. It's just a mini goal of mine. Got to set mini goals, right? All right, so just the many goals, 100. A lot of big things are ready for to happen on this channel. Most high willing, it's going to happen. You know, it's late right now as I'm recording this, but you know, hey, work got to be done. You know what I'm saying? Most high work got to be done. So look, this I'm very excited about because I've really been trying to, behind the scenes, y'all, I've been trying to re react to this song forever. Coming to find out, the webcam that I had was a bad webcam. It kept crashing. I guess it just don't, you know, act right with my Chromebook and just a lot. But, you know, still the show must go on. But as I've been trying to record that video, Naviel came out with a, a lyric video to the song that I was going to react to, which is even better. You know what I'm saying? Because now we can really break this down. See, this is what this is. These are reactions slash breakdowns. If I've heard the song already, then we are going to break it down. That's what it is. If I haven't heard the song yet, then of course it's just, it's a reaction. Of course, we're going to break it down as we go, but still, this is a breakdown video. So now we're going to have the lyrics on the screen to make it easy for us to break it down because we're going to see the words, you know, everything as they play out. So without further ado, man, we're going to get it to Naviel Sadness, man. Let's go ahead and jump into it. The sin that breaks God's heart is when you and I treat lightly the Word of God. When we treat lightly and take lightly the Word of God. He said, I have written to you the great things of the law. God says, I have bared to you my heart. I have written to you the great things of my law, the things that are, that are, that are mine, that I have bared to you my heart. And you have treated them as though they were written by a stranger who had no business writing at all. Yeah. That monologue itself is tough. Like, it's tough. It's I listen to this song all the time, literally. So I listen to this part every time and I listen closer and closer every time I listen to it. You know, I feel like that's what you're supposed to do with music, regardless. Anything you do when you read, when you listen to music, when you write something down, anything. You're supposed to listen or listen or observe it deeper every single time. You know what I'm saying? That's what helps. Um but this monologue, basically, this whole album mixtape that uh, Anabiel did was basically saying that Most High has feelings. So that he went each song was a different feeling that the Most High has. It, man, it was deep. And this song was telling, like, the Most High can be sad. You know what I'm saying? He said he shows sadness because he wrote, I, like, Most High is like, I've written all this out for you to show you the way you know, to lead you on the right path and you just act like I'm some stranger that ain't got no business even telling you anything. When I was the person who got you out of Egypt, you know what I'm saying? I led you and your people out of Egypt when I didn't have to, but I did. Why? Because you're my people. It's deep. You know what I'm saying? As I listen to it over and over, I get more and more, but that's deep. That whole monologue. But just wait until uh, Naviel start snapping because he snaps the song. He really does. Written by a stranger who had no business writing at all. Yeah, yeah. Jeremiah 7, when you get to heaven, me, I'm working on my walk like I was a pedestrian. We separated from. Oh, yeah, we break it down bars. Me, I'm working on my walk like I was a pedestrian. It's light, but we getting somewhere with that. Yeah, yeah. Jeremiah 7, when you get to heaven. Me, I'm working on my walk like I was a pedestrian. We separated from his laws when they supposed to be blessing. Then got the nerve to look lost when they try to impress us. Then he sent his son with hopes to return. Like we separate ourselves from the laws that the Most High gave us. And now we're trying to look lost when we under these curses and we have been oppressed by our enemies. If you read the curses, the curses say that we will be handed right into the hands of our enemies. So we should be surprised. We just read 
read the book. Read in Deuteronomy, man. Deuteronomy 28, 15 through 18. It explains it all right there. Blessing, then got the nerve to look lost when they try to impress us. Then he sent his son with hopes to redeem a possession. I keep him in front to the T like I'm riding a Tesla. If you don't, you see an L's like you riding a Lexus. I pray he live inside of me like a virus infection. Cause nowadays, condoms are not the only protection. Where the spirit protection, where the spirit connection. The most I got feelings, the sin hurt his heart. He been getting his heart broke since Noah's Ark. Most of these people. Hmm. I don't know what that was. Goodness gracious. But um, he snapped that whole way. But of course, the bar I love the most when he says he's been getting his heart broke since Noah's Ark. If you know the story of Noah, the most I asked Noah to build the ark. And if I remember correctly, it was 120 years that Noah was building the ark. So those people that, that Moses was warning, he was warning them and building that ark for 100 years. And 20 years. And they just kept doing what they wanted to do. He was letting them know the flood was coming. That the most I was about to wipe out everything. So what did that tell you, man? He gave them 120 years. You know how long that is? I'll be mad too and wipe out everything too. And, and won't, wouldn't care if I give somebody 120 years to get their self right. You know what I'm saying? So he was heart broke. He didn't want to destroy the world. Because of the sin that was in the world. Y'all don't think he was sad because of that? Y'all think he just wanted to do that? Nah. Of course. Y'all don't think he was heartbroken? This is deep, man. I'm telling you. Not the only protection. Where the spirit protection. Where the spirit connection. The most I got feelings. The sin hurt his heart. He been getting his heart broke since Noah's Ark. Most of these people claim to love him, but he know you dark. Dark. All right. I want to stop right here right quick. I know I'm doing a lot of pausing. This is where he snaps. All right? I'm going to be doing some more pausing. I'm going to let y'all know now. Warning. Because we're going to break this down. Because he snaps after this. He snaps. Like, he literally just snaps. And let me say these visuals, the lyric video, this is very clean, man. I'm enjoying it. You know what I'm saying? But he about to snap. So is our, most of these people claim to love him, but he know you, dog. Just put your soul in power. Chill. Let's reason. Idolatry is when you put anything above him. That's cheating. He put policy. Idolatry is when you put anything above him. That's cheating. Come on, we gon' we gonna get there. Let's reason. Idolatry is when you put anything above him. That's cheating. He put policies in orders, but we breaking them for no reason. He got tired of seeing disorder, so he gave us over to Egypt. Mm, so he put them laws in order. And he got tired of this order, so he put us and he gave us over to Egypt. Egypt, if you um go into, you know what I'm saying, learning what the words mean biblically, biblically, Egypt basically just means bondage, captivity, slavery. You know what I'm saying? That's basically what it means. And we've been there many of times. He's in orders, but we breaking them for no reason. He got tired of seeing disorder, so he gave us over to Egypt. He sent his prophets to warn us, but we still acting like heathens. Then he sent his son because he loved us, and the Pharisees killed Jesus. But his name wasn't even Jesus, but they changed it to mislead us. Research what you can. I don't even got to say nothing. Y'all heard it. Matter of fact, I'm taking back so y'all hear it again. But I ain't got nothing to say on that one. Egypt. He sent his prophets to warn us, but we still acting like heathens. Then he sent his son because he loved us, and the Pharisees killed Jesus. But his name wasn't even Jesus, but they changed it to mislead us. Research what you can, get to really know the man. They ignore him and they dodge him, but they call him when they need him. Now he that, I think this is probably my favorite part. They ignore him and they dodge him, but they call him when they need him. And I am, I am, I am guilty of this. A lot of us are. A lot of us are, but a lot won't admit it. But I am definitely guilty of this. And boy, did I suffer from it. Probably still suffering from it, as we speak, to be honest. Pharisees killed Jesus, but his name wasn't even Jesus. But they changed it to mislead us. Research what you can. Get to really know the man. They ignore him and they dodge him, but they call him when they need him. Now he all daddy, he all son, but when the law come, they leave him. I can't sit and let Say now he all that he awesome like he the man now, like when you when you finally need him, yeah he the man now. But then as soon as you want to do what you want to do, you feel like everything cool, boom, back to what you used to do. I'm telling y'all, Naviel is. I'm telling you, 
That dude is. I've been telling y'all from the beginning. But they call him when they need him. Now he all that and he all some. But when the law come, they leave him. I can't mm. sit and let you cross him without talking. That's illegal. This thing getting real awkward. Mm. He anointing all of his leaders. We answer like a call center, taking charge all in the season. If salvation don't cost us, why sin always seem cheaper? That grace and that mercy mm. is the only law that they keep. It. They don't even have the courtesy to live by what they reading. We in the state. Of and that's that's I'm guilty of that too. For a while, that was really me. That was definitely me. Hold up, y'all. I'm trying to make sure. My sister. But definitely. Okay. All right. My bad. But yeah, that was definitely me. That was definitely me. Um, dang, I done missed what the part was. Now I didn't. Hold up. Hold up. Let me, let me get right. Let me get right. If salvation don't cost us, why sin always seem cheap? <laughs> that right. grace and that mercy is the only law that they keep it. They don't even have the courtesy to live okay. by what they read it. We guilty. I'm guilty of that too, man. I read it, read it, read it. I know what it means. I understand it. I feel it. I feel like the meaning of it. But don't even live by it. I know it's I know it's wrong. I'm not ignorant of it anymore, which is the worst thing you can ever do. Is be not ignorant of it anymore, of the law, of what I've read, and still not want to do it. Dangerous, man. Dangerous. And mercy is the only law that they keep. They don't even have the courtesy to live by what they reading. We in the state of emergency and our kings acting like demons. Our women acting like harlots when they abort and they feed us. It's like Thanksgiving mm. in hell, how them evil spirits be feasting. We not connected to power, so every time they... Mm. He said, I need why I never got that. Why did I'm just now catching that? Maybe because I read it, but I've heard it. He said it's like it's like Thanksgiving in hell, how the evil spirits be feasting. Oh no, nah, that's tough. That's tough. Emergency and our kings acting like demons. Our women acting like harlots when they abort and they feed us. It's like Thanksgiving in hell, how them evil spirits be feasting. We not oh connected God. to power, so every time they beat us. To me, they just targets. I just hate the fact that they breathing. I'm really done discussing them, cause ain't really no reason. I can't let these eyes push my buttons like I'm keyless. We checks in like Nike, this way bigger than sneakers. And meanwhile, mm. our savior took strikes for it like Adidas. The Holy Spirit now on them. Mm. When they come around, they grieve it. Mm. I, His, oh, he went to shoot the shoe out. Y'all got it. Oh, no, that was tough. Not nah, yeah, really tough. I'm trying to tell y'all, he's tough. He's tough. Lyrically, he's, he's so slick. Like he's just so slick with his lyrics. Mm, he said, "Meanwhile, what he say the Messiah took the stripes like Adidas." Buttons like I'm keyless. Mm. We checks in like Nike. This way bigger than sneakers. And meanwhile, our Savior took stripes for it like Adidas. The oh Holy Spirit now on them when they come around, they grieve it. And I'm yelling, repent, and I just pray that they all heed it. Cause the most high not playing right now, I feel them getting heated. That law is enough law, keep you in order, so we teach it. They don't walk it, how they talk it, so it's evident they don't read it. They faith looking so faulty, so they pray, but they don't believe it. But the one who kept his laws gonna see them cherries when we leave it. Our mm. spirit see model, you can't bury us for no reason. By the fruits you shall know, then we have various in this season. The devil, he lost, so he can't worry us in this season. The most high Gonna protect us, he gonna carry us in season. Look, look, look. And the thing is, you, you you see how the song faded out, which means he was still going. He was still going. He wasn't done. He was not done. He was it was the song just faded out. Bro, come on now. Man, this I'm telling this why this is really my favorite song. I ain't gonna lie to you. Every time I think I think anytime like I just turn my music on, this is the first song, like to start everything off, I have to listen to this song. Like it's this song is just deep to me, man. When music is used right, you are gonna feel it. You're gonna feel it the way you're supposed to feel it. It's a whole different feeling. It's a whole different feeling, man. I'm telling you. But there y'all have it, man. Sadness by Navi Yell. Man, my favorite track. It's really my favorite track right now. My favorite song right now to listen to. Man, if y'all enjoyed this lyric video, this breakdown, hit this video with a like. You know what I'm saying? And make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Why not? Go ahead and subscribe, man. We over here doing the guy's work. We're doing the most highest work. Hit that subscribe button. Give me to 100 subscribers so we can go up in the, on this channel. Most high willing. It's going to happen, man. You know, I got a whole bunch of more videos coming up. I'm doing very good. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to just stay in the Holy Spirit for real. And just let it, let it guide me. You know what I'm saying? I really am. So, with that being said, man, y'all already know with me. 
Until next time, ain't no but love, peace, and shalom. Thank you.